Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between the Roborock Q Revo on the left and the Eufy X10 Pro Omni on the right. We've got some muddy paw prints. We're going to see how each one of them vacuum and mops this floor. Okay, so both robots are docked here. We've got a clean water tank on both of them that you're going to fill up with clean water. You can add a little bit of Eufy solution. Same with the Roborock. Here's the clean water tank. It is a little bit bigger and you can add the Roborock solution. There's the dirty water tank. They're both going to wash the mop pads and then clean out the water down there. There's the dirty water tank. Here's, then they're going to auto empty. There's a bag. And over here on the Q Revo, there's the bag that it empties into. So here's the Q Revo app. It does a good job of mapping your house. You can put no go zones. We're going to clean a room. We can do different levels, different suction levels and water levels. Then you're just going to hit start. Okay, so the first thing both of them are going to do is wash the mop. Now here's the Eufy app. It does a really good job mapping your house. You can put no-go zones. We're going to clean the kitchen here also. We've got different levels of customization. And we're going to tell it to start cleaning. Okay, so the Eufy is going to start cleaning its mop also. Now the Q Revo, it, its mop was already clean. That's why it started to clean really quick. It had already cleaned its um, mop pads. So what you're going to hear, this takes about a minute. Um, it's going to put water down there. It's going to spin those mop pads. Then it's going to suck the water up. So you hear kind of a pump sucking the water up too. There's the Q Revo where it cleans, charges, and auto empties. Okay, so they both have spinning mop pads that they can raise and lower the spinning mop pads and put solution down automatically. And the Q Revo can, can lift its mop pads when it senses carpet automatically. And then once it gets down off a of carpet, it'll start spinning its mop pads again. You know, it's doing a pretty good job on the muddy paw prints. Here comes the Eufy X10. It's doing a good job also on the muddy paw prints. So the Eufy can lift its mop pads also when it senses carpet. Yep, the Q Revo's doing a good job mopping and vacuuming at the same time. So both of them, I think, do a really good job of mopping. Sometimes when you have a really big um, muddy paw print, you would want to do two passes, which you can program that in the app. Now here's what it looks like inside the Eufy X10. Once in a while, you do have to take this tray out and clean it. Same with the Roborock. It's got a tray you can take out and clean. So they're both doing a good job of cleaning this carpeted area. Yep. Did a good job on that. Yeah, the Q Revo did a good job of mopping up that muddy paw print. Now the Eufy can lift its mop pads 12 millimeters. The Q Revo can lift its mop pads 7 millimeters. There's the Q Revo lifting its mop pads automatically. Okay, so the Q Revo is all done. It's gonna to return to the dock. It's gonna wash its mop pads. They both can dry their mop pads when they're done from two to four hours, depending on what you got it set at. They're gonna blow hot air onto the mop pads so that they're nice and dry and you won't have an odor problem. Okay, so here's the Q Revo. Let's take a look at everything inside. Wow, it did a good job of cleaning everything. Okay, so let's take a look at the Eufy. 
its dustbin is right here. Dustbin and we can see, wow, it has got a lot of stuff in there too. So you may have noticed some spilled out. There was some, uh, they got this door, there was some stuff underneath there that needed cleaned out. Okay, so the Yuffie's gonna head home now. The Robo Rock is done. It's gonna auto, auto empty everything that was inside that dustbin. Okay, so the Yuffie's gonna dock itself and it's gonna auto empty also. Okay, here's the Robo Rock empty in the dustbin. Okay, so here's the Eufy X10. It's gonna do an auto empty. That's the Eufy X10. They're about the same noise level. Okay, so both of them come back to the dock. They auto empty and they wash their mops. Then they're gonna dry the mop pads. Now the Eufy is a little bit louder when it's drying its mop pads. You can set that from two to four hours in the app. And here's the Roborock's gonna turn its dryer on now. It's a little bit quieter. Okay, let's try it out on our carpet. I've got a small cable on the ground. We're gonna try obstacle avoidance. And I got a fake dog poop. We're gonna see how they do with this. Okay, I'm gonna do a zone clean on the Roborock. Okay, so I told the Eufy to start cleaning that area also. Okay, so here goes the Roborock. Now again, it can't lift its mop pads quite as high and it can't leave them at the base either. Seven millimeters and here comes the Eufy, which is... So the Q Revo did run that cord over right away. Now this doesn't necessarily make the Q Revo a bad vacuum. It just means if you tend to have a lot of things on the floor, it might get stuck. But in areas where like you know you have cords, you can put no-go zones. All right, here comes the Eufy. It did notice that cable right away. It has really good obstacle avoidance. And the Q or the Eufy will take a picture of the obstacle. And it's really neat. It'll take a picture of the poop and alert you and it'll say, hey, you've got some dog poop on the floor. You may want to take action quickly. The Roborock, there's absolutely no picture taking ability whatsoever. It does have a camera on the front, but it doesn't take pictures. It just like senses AI or something. It will recognize obstacles, but it doesn't tell you what it was or give you a picture. Now again, here's the, the Eufy. It can raise its mop pads a little bit higher, but you can see this is pretty standard car, but both of them are gonna drag on it a little bit. So it did run it over again. We're gonna check with the poop. Ah, it needs to, yeah, it runs everything. This is why I gave it one of the lower scores, was because of the obstacle avoidance. Again, doesn't necessarily make it a bad vacuum. You just gotta, ah, it really just makes a mess of things. Or the Eufy, it, it'll avoid those both of them really good. Yeah. Nope. You know, this would be an awesome vacuum cleaner, the Curibo, if it avoided things. It, it really is a good vacuum cleaner, just its avoidance. I'm, I'm telling, I'm going to tell the Curibo to get out of here. It, it does a good job vacuuming. I just want you to see the obstacle avoidance on the Eufy X10, how good it is. Okay, there's the Q-Revo, emptying its dustbin. It might be a little bit louder. That was the Roborock Q-Revo emptying. Now we're gonna see how this Eufy does on obstacle avoidance. See, it sensed it. It can even sense it when it's off to the side a little bit. That's very impressive. Now it's gonna take a, you can turn this picture taking ability off. If you don't want that to take a picture of it, it will still avoid it. It just won't take a picture of it. You're not lessening the obstacle avoidance by turning the pictures off. I prefer the picture, that way I can see, oh, it'll show you, oh, hey, there's a cable laying on the ground. Well, that reminds me to put the cable up or there's always gonna be a cable there and just put a no-go zone there. 
Okay, and so here's the neatest thing. This is the Eufy X10 app. It gives you an um, automated warning. It says, robot has avoided waste. Please clean up promptly. And there's the waste. Let's do this. There's the picture it took of the pet waste. So it is, it, it's, I just like, it just works. And it even took a picture of that cable. There's the cable. Okay, so here comes the Eufy X10 heading home to auto empty. It finished up cleaning that little area. Now the Eufy X10 is brand new in uh, February of 2024. It's retailing for $800. The Roborock Q Revo, $749 on sale, normally $900. It's, it's probably about a year old, I think. So the Eufy X10 is going to auto empty. Oh, it doesn't auto empty every time. So under the settings, it says if it cleaned less than 10 minutes, it will not auto empty. Okay, so both of them are drying the mop. The Eufy is definitely a little bit louder. They're both very quiet. You're just gonna notice it in the background. Here's the Roborock by itself. Here's the Eufy auto empty. Okay, so one thing special about the Eufy, after it's done auto emptying, it rotates the brush roller backwards. Here I have the spare one, or does not the spare one, but I got the kit that has this in it. There's a comb. So when the brush roller rotates backwards, this comb comes down and it grabs the hair off of that roller. And you can hear it doing that. It's kind of like Now, it doesn't turn the auto empty on again, so I'm not sure. You know, if it removes that hair off of there, I guess it just kind of sits there. Okay, let's take a look at these on the back side. Okay, so here's the bottom of each robot. There's the brush roller. That comb is on the inside of this. It must be right here. I've not noticed much hair wrap around this. Here's the... The Q Revo's got a little bit different style brush, side brush. And then those mop pads, they're both, they both come off super easy. Um, you can wash these in the washing machine once in a while, but the, the base stations do a really good job of washing them and drying them. Here's the Curevo again. You can take these off, replace them once in a while, and then also put them in the washing machine. Maintenance on both of them is very simple. I've done the brush roller, the side brushes, cleaning the sensors. Both of them, the parts are readily available and they're not too expensive and it's easy to work on. Now, something I want to keep an eye on is this dustbin, that, that door that earlier we saw, we saw some stuff. That's the door. Yeah, when it auto empties, everything comes out that door, so some things can get stuck in there. The Robo Rock. It has a nice big filter. I like that when they have a nice big filter. And it's washable. Same with the Eufy, it's washable. The filter's a little bit smaller on the Eufy, not as, but again, this is washable and you do have to replace it once in a while. There's a screen there too. And again, here's the Roborock tray once in a while. They get really dirty, you do have to clean them out. Okay, let's go over my scoring. The Q Revo originally got a B minus, mainly because of obstacle avoidance. Um, the X10 Pro Omni did get an A plus or an A. It got a 95 out of 100. Some of its downfalls, you know, it didn't have many. Um, you have to add your own solution, which is same with on the Roborock. And it doesn't leave its mop pads at the base station, which that's not that too big a deal. It doesn't remind you to change the bag. Now again, the Roborock. Uh, it doesn't lift its mop pads as high. Again, only seven millimeters. Auto sensing carpet. I did find with the Q Revo, it does have a trouble with that sometimes. I did find it mopping the, the carpet once in a while. Obstacle avoidance, I gave it a one. So that was its biggest downfall. Uh, it just can't do much for obstacle avoidance. You know, and here's the app of where it cleaned. You know, it, it has having some trouble and once in a while it will throw a flag up there and it'll say there was an obstacle but it doesn't tell you what the obstacle was okay so it comes from it the time has come would i spend 800 dollars on the eufy x10 pro omni yes would i spend 750 on the robo rock q revo yes if i don't have a lot of trouble with pet waste or stuff on the floor now with that being said 
eventually the Q -re or the Ufi is going to go on sale. That's its asking price right now. Now I buy I buy these robots with my own money. That way I can give you the most honest opinion and tell you would I spend that money. Yeah, I sp actually spent my money on that and I'm going to keep it. The Curevo, yep, I spent my money on that and I'm going to keep it. I have no obligation with any manufacturer. This video was not paid for. They have not contacted me. I want to buy these. I don't want any influence out there. I do like the comments where people are like, hey, maybe check this on the next review or check that. I do like that. Uh, these are just kind of like real world reviews because th this is just how I use them in real world. You know, I've got a kitchen. Uh, we'll make a mess. We want the floor mopped. Now, these are pretty torture tests for the muddy paw prints. That's not going to happen every time. Both of these are great for mopping your floor, having it look nice and shiny each time. They both, you got to add the solution yourself. q has got a little bit bigger water tanks as far as dirty and um, the clean water. I do think the Ufi lasts longer. I think it has a bigger battery in it. Now, I just finished up comparing the Dream L20 and the Narwhal Freel, brand new one. These things have a lot in common, but there's some things they don't. So I did a comparison on these two. Now, if you want to spend $1,200, which I did, this is the Dyson uh, robot vacuum cleaner. Uh, it's not worth $1,200. It does a good job and it's going to be a nice vacuum for some people, but that's awfully expensive for what you get. Look for that review and comparisons. I've already got them posted. I got the Dream L10S. I do like it. I got some reviews and comparisons. I compare it to the Q Revo, which was sitting there earlier. Got the Roborock S8. Eh, not so much. This is, these are just strictly vacuums except for the, oh, the Eureka. Now they did send that one to me for free. Um, I, I wish I had bought it. I mean, it's a nice vacuum, but again, can I give a completely honest review when somebody sends me something? That is a very hard thing to do. You just feel an obligation to kind of be nice. I'm going to, I'm going to buy all my own vacuums, which I have out of all of these. That's the only one that they sent to me for free. I got a video on it, which Tenneco to buy. I compare them to the Sharks, Dream Tech, and the new Kenmore, which I really do like. I do like the iRobot Roombas. They're starting to seem a little long in the tooth, a little bit older now, but they do a good job. That's the J7 combo. That's the Q7. Here's the Sharks. These things are really starting to show age. They do okay. They're just app is kind of old, and a lot of things do a little bit better job. That's the IQ and the AI. Here we've got the Shark Detect Pro. Now, this is the J7. It's a really good vacuum. It's got a camera on the front. It does really good obstacle avoidance. Also just bought the Ninja Frost Vault. Going to be doing a review on it. And I've already done a review on the smaller Frost Vault. It, it cools just as good as the Yeti. So again, check me out on Instagram. Look for my logo on Instagram, Just to Dead Videos. I do free giveaways there and on Facebook group page. Really do appreciate everybody's support. If you got another, I review a lot of these vacuum cleaners because people tell me about them in the comments. The Q-Revo is very popular right now. And they got a brand new Q-Revo coming out. I'm going to be, I'll get it. And I'll compare it to the old one to see if it's that much better. So I do appreciate everybody's support. If you hit the subscribe button down below, you'll see more videos like this. If you hit the thumbs up button, that really helps out my YouTube channel. So again, links underneath the video. I bought these with my own money. I recommend both of them, but the, the Ufi X10 is a little bit better. So thanks everybody for watching.